Welcome, and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread Evening Meditation. This moment is a gift from God. It's a chance to switch off from past troubles and future concerns and give your full attention to the God who loves you and has so many blessings in store for you. Close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. He is here to receive you just as you are. We love journeying with you every night, helping you draw near to the Lord through his word, reflect on his heart and find rest in his presence, even in the midst of sorrow and hardship. Please do take a minute to like, review and share our evening meditations. As we begin our reflective time tonight, try to get as comfortable as possible. We are going to take a little break from the world around us. Shut everything else out for a few precious minutes. Lock away every distraction and let yourself melt into your chair or bed. Take a few deep breaths. Prepare your heart to listen to God's word. Watch as it illuminates the darkness and soothes the aches of your soul. It is time to meet with the Lord. Tonight, Lord, I come with empty hands. I lay down the burdens of today. I lay down my feeble efforts to try to be good enough. I lay down my self-righteousness, my pride, my anger, my frustrations. I come before you empty and waiting to be filled with your light and life. Open my heart now as I listen to your word. Speak to me, I pray. Mark chapter 3 verses 20 to 22 says, Then Jesus entered a house and again a crowd gathered so that he and his disciples were not even able to eat. When his family heard about this, they went to take charge of him, for they said, He is out of his mind. And the teachers of the law who came down from Jerusalem said, He is possessed by Beelzebul. By the prince of demons, he is driving out demons. Have you ever felt totally misunderstood? your actions, your motives, even your character as a person. It's one of the most frustrating feelings. Explaining seems to make things worse and you end up feeling somehow 
violated, like you've been robbed of something precious. Jesus knew this feeling as well. We read scores of stories of the religious leaders misunderstanding Jesus. They despised him for healing people. They asked questions only to catch him out. These experts in the book that he authored never recognised who he was. But worse than that, his own family thought he'd lost his mind, his beloved mother, his siblings. They actually came to take their crazy son home so he'd stop embarrassing himself. That must have really hurt. The next time you feel misunderstood, lean into Jesus. He has carried that pain. He knows that frustration. And he knows truth about you. His opinion is the only one that matters in the end. As we turn to prayer, consciously relax every part of your body, starting at your feet and working your way up. Meditate on the scripture we've read. Chew it over in your mind. As you take a breath, breathe in the truth of what you've heard tonight. As you exhale, pray it back to the Lord. Breathe deeply with long, slow exhales. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. And in. And out. Let's pray. Mighty God, my Saviour, what a privilege to be able to come to you every day whenever I want. You are always near me. You always receive me. Even if it feels like the whole world is against me. You never forsake me. Lord, I forgive those who have misunderstood me. I hand them over to you. You are the judge not me. I trust that you know me, you care, and you are on my side, even if it feels like nobody else is. Thank you, Lord.
Jesus says in Luke chapter 6, verses 22 to 23. Blessed are you when people hate you, when they exclude you and insult you and reject your name as evil because of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy because great is your reward in heaven for that is how their ancestors treated the prophets. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, as I sleep tonight, I pray you would refresh my spirit, renew my mind and fill me with your love. May tomorrow be a fresh new day of walking through life with you. Amen.